And another one already. Another female so-called sex offender. But if we look at what this is really about, if we're not so brain dead that we take the so-called sexual abuse at face value, then we see here that she is accused of cheating on her husband. So what we actually have here is the criminalization of adultery, of adulterous women, as if women are property, and we now have patriarchy making this excuse that women are sexual abusers in order to lock them up. She can get 20 years for this, because we slapped this label on that says sexual abuse, which is so politically correct and feminists are completely on board with this program. In fact, they were the ones who invented it. They want this woman punished as much as she can be. There's literally no limit to how much is politically correct to punish her for adultery. Because women are in effect property in this society. And they don't care. They don't protest this. It takes a man, a real man like me, to stand up for her. Feminists are not going to do it. I have to do it for them. They don't care that women are property as long as we slap this sexual abuse label on them. This fake, insane charade that the boy is a supposed victim. A 17-year-old boy is a supposed victim. <laughs> You have to be a moron to take that at face value. So what we actually have is a woman accused of cheating on her husband who is now facing 20 years because we have this female sex offender charade because women are property. All you have to do is accuse them of sexual abuse and they become property of the state. For 20 years for this uh, non-issue here, this uh, victimless crime. And it's all fine, isn't it? You all think, if you're a normie, you think this is all f the way it should be. You don't care. And you leave it to me to be an activist for this all by myself. But it's what I have to do, because if not... The conscience, my conscience would kill me for not caring about these women who are persecuted by the feminist state. I wish somebody else would stand up for them too.